Hey, it's Mark here at Cedar Falls Farm. I'm doing a little bit of clearing on the upper end of my hunting area. I'm gonna set this up and let you see a little bit of this privet coming down. This stuff is very invasive and I'm trying to get rid of as much as I can.
All right, I'm gonna walk down here. Just show a little bit about what happened. I'll show you what happened to the tractor. I got most of this stuff pushed up here. Some I'd already pushed over a long time ago. But I wanted to create one access point. There was a small trail in here. I found maybe in in uh maybe in hunting property where people are not around a lot no farming operations but i can tell you i can come in here and work in a deer right there right afterwards so i'm not too concerned about this scaring deer away but i wanted to create kind of a funnel point there's already a small trail here this will allow me to come in and out easily without trekking all through the hunting area I was cutting through here as well so I can walk right in here straight up to the stand look at this man look at this area down here my feed plot is just going crazy looking good so yeah I'm I'm ready for season to come in a few more days yet but you can see the dirt here disturbed. I sheared a bolt on the bush hog. I was gonna clear this out a little bit, but that didn't work. On the PTO shaft going into the gearbox, always use a mild steel bolt. I would rather shear a bolt than shear a gear. And that's exactly what I did. And it's better to hit something and have a bolt shear off than break gears. So I'll show you that real quick. Then I'm going all this stuff up, put it on the burn pile. There's a bolt missing. So I will fix that I always keep spare bolts I have a oh excuse me I have a toolbox specifically for tractor parts and stuff like that I'll get that taken care of but I'm gonna move this brush up to the brush pile and I think I'm gonna call it a day on this time to kick back prop my feet up a little bit hope everyone has an awesome day